It's June 1st, it's a brand new month, and we're here today with Heather Tonelli from Queens County Economic Development to talk about a brand new program that's helping all of our businesses and residents. Thanks for joining us, Heather. Thank you for having me. We're really excited today at 5 p.m. June 1st, we're gonna be rolling out the Queen Anne's County Small Business Assistance and Recovery Fund, which was recently approved and funded by our commissioners for 2.5 million. We're hoping that this fund is gonna help recover our small businesses, those that have been closed due to COVID or those that are even partially open. What we're looking for these funds to do is to help uh, purchase PPE, you know, mask, gloves, cleaning supplies, signage. Also, if uh, businesses need to make adjustments within their businesses in order to become social distanced, those sort of things, as well as operating costs like rent, uh, payroll, uh, things that you need in order to keep going or to maybe open back up. The program's all online. It's on choosequeenanns.com. And uh, you can go on there and find the application, which is online. We do have paper copy if you need it. But all the documentation that you'll need to uh, submit is all available there at choosequeenanns.com. That's it'll, great. It'll be open for one month. So you want to log on today, make sure you download what you need and fill it out. So who's uh, eligible for this? For profits and nonprofits, so that means pretty much any any business within the county. You have to be located within the county, be in good standing, and uh, not have defaulted on any Queen Anne's County loans in the past. Uh, for nonprofits, we're going to give preference to those that have employees, but all are eligible to apply. Um, and we're also going to be looking at if businesses have applied for other assistance like the EIDL, or the PPP. You're not prohibited from applying, but we are going to take that into consideration when we're looking at the amounts. Um, there is no uh, grant limit on this, app, this process, however, we anticipate that most grants will be $10,000 or below, so between $1,000 and $10,000. There will be a few that are a few more um, because if they have a large number of employees or a large uh, need in order to get reopened, we're going to look at that. And speaking of the grant and the funding, where does the money actually come from? The money came from the federal CARES program that was then disseminated to the state. And then the state gave each of our counties a certain amount of money depending on population. Our county got over $8 million, close to between 8 and $9 million. And the commissioners voted to help our small businesses get back in business or, or start to reopen as they're allowed to. Right, and that sounds like a great chunk of money yes. that we can help our community with. It's going to be able to affect a lot of our businesses and we're ready to roll. So we've taken the time to make sure our application process is all online, electronic filing, um, everything should be pretty straightforward and easy. That's great. And we want to get the money get, out. Right. And if you could get one message out to the businesses and the people in, in uh, Queens County, what would it be? That we appreciate all that you're doing. We understand that times are, are tough and we know that you are fighting to stay open and we're here with you every step of the way and we want to stay see you stay in business and become successful as we start our reopening process that's right so go online today get the information it starts june 1st at five o'clock and let queens county help you yep we're here to help you that's our job